In this video we're going to be building some pages with the help of our paragraphs. We'll change the logo, we'll change the front page and we'll create some more pages. Until now we already created one page. But in order to create it we basically created several bits of markup that we defined as paragraph from the static version of the page. This is here the welcome screen on top, this paragraph, the image paragraph and the text paragraph. And now we want to polish the whole thing and build some more pages from the already existing paragraphs. So first we want to change the logo with something that looks a bit nicer. I don't have a special logo for this. Uh, mock-up so I'll just use the logo from Drupal up so in, in order to change it we'll go to appearance and settings we'll uncheck this use the logo supplied by the team and we'll upload our own logo so you can use whatever logo you want I just have uh, a logo from the website drupal.com and we save and we will also clear the cache in order for our change to take effect and if we back to the page yes we have a logo and now it looks a bit nicer so currently the front page is the default Drupal front page, which is the slash node. And we want to change it with the page that we just created. So in order to do that, we'll go to configuration. And but first we want to check which node ID has the custom page that we created. As we see from here, it's node 7. For you, it may be some other node ID, so you just go to the page and you copy the node slash node ID. And we go to configuration and then basic site settings. And under default front page, we'll change just the, the path here with the node and node ID of the custom page that we created and we hit save. Yes, it has to start with slash. Wonderful. And if we go back to the site and if we hit, if we go somehow to the front page, we would, from now on we will get the custom page that we created. That's great. So, uh, but let's go ahead and create one uh, page that starts with, uh, with some text and that has after, after it a image. So, since we built it with uh, paragraphs, we're actually able to do that. So, let's go to content and add content and create a basic page so let's call it uh, all about us let's grab some ipsum yep and we may say subtitle all the nice things about us and we'll put a header image I'm not quite sure what kind of images I have here. If those are big enough, yes, this one looks like big enough. And we would create a title with text. The text we'll put the URL next to. And for title, we may just say, Hi from our office. And we may go ahead and create a image paragraph. Our holiday the destination. We are not in the office now. I basically chose that text because I just have some nice picturesque images. So 
and if we save it yeah so we have all about us let's go ahead and put something to the action link let's say contact us from here a nice improvement would be to actually hide those action links or anything if it's empty but you see that it looks pretty good we just built a new page with the paragraphs that we have we always use the top bit here since it comes from the node and here under we can put different types of paragraphs and we can also put longer text if it's uh, supposed to be a informative web page yeah you see it looks pretty nice and um, we can also if we edit it we can also add it to the main menu we choose main navigation and if we save there we go it's up in the menu so basically this technique you can use to create all kinds of different pages in our case we just defined three paragraphs but in your case you can define like five paragraphs and basically you can do infinite uh, variations of pages combining those paragraphs and that's absolutely perfect the, the clients basically love this approach because they are free to build all kinds of pages and simply that's the power of paragraphs and yeah thanks for watching if you like this video please check the links in the description comment if you have any questions and hit like and subscribe thanks for watching